Welcome to Kitty Place Morrowind. I'm Nighty. Or. No, let's start differently. Welcome to Morrowind Monday. I'm Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'll be your host for this episode. And yes, I do know I'm recording this episode on Friday, but it will air on Morrowind Monday. We got ourselves a new quest, and I need to really quick check what it was. The Disappearance of the Dwarf, so we need to go to Gneesis. Oh, I know this was a longer one, right? I remember. There we go. We are heading to the Mages Guild, taking the Majors, M M Major Guild, no, the Mages Guild teleport over to Aldrun. From there, the Suit Strider to Gnesis. We've already been there. So that's okay. Especially the teleport option. If you don't follow me, it's followed me from the first episode, I basically set the restriction to usually only take the um, fast travel options when I've traveled somewhere manually first or footily first because I travel on foot and um, yeah when, when I have to travel by boat like for example when I need to go somewhere here or something like that I'm going to use the boat though and because it doesn't yeah, I, I do have water walking now but it still seems very unnatural for me so I'd rather take the boat then. Okay. Um, also, this gives wet hind paws, and I don't want wet hind paws. So there, the sun goes down. I, I do like. I really do like that. There we go. Yeah. Of course, he wonders why someone always walks past <laughs> through the imperial shrine. Hello, ma'am. I'm just passing through. I just want to travel over to Aldrun. Thank you very much. And from there, I have to avoid Edwina because she will surely ask me. Oh, I need to go the other way. I'm sorry, but, but Edwina will surely ask me if I have done her duties yet. And I completely ignored that. Let me see, it was going into the Gnesis Egg Mine for another Dwemer Ruin. There we go. Phew, successfully avoided her. Can we have some more fortify willpower? No, that's not interesting. Nope, they don't have anything interesting for us. Restore Magicka would be more interesting. This is why they call it the Ashlands. Let's head over to the Silstrider and get to Gnesis. Or is the G silent and it's Nisis? Travel Gnesis, as we call, I call it when I was younger, playing for the first time. Okay, there we go. I will remember when I have to go back, but first of all, let's check the name. I'm going to um, Baladas Demnevani. Baladas Demnevani. Did he tell me where he lives? No. Sadly not. Uh, he did tell me where it is. I know that he told me the name of the place. And it's, I think it's not in, it's, it's not one of these huts, which is just called someone's hut, but it's, it might be that place over there. Um, but it's not in the journal. And of course I forgot because I always forget. Okay. Let's start over here. Uh, that's, that's it. I, I re at least I recognize the name, right? I forget, but I recognize Arv's Drellen. I think we've already raided this place once, didn't we? Let's see if 
there is a wooden door. Sir, I am looking for a rat. Tasty rats. They even have something. Well, tasty rats, but they do drain your magic abilities. There is a reason why mages are um, some vegetarians. Another one. Come on. This guy definitely has a red problem. The Wolf Queen summoning room key. It's not even owned. Well, I'm going to read this book real quick. I should do a story to unowned beds. That's weird. Okay, something is clearly wrong with this place. Let me drop a quick save. Also, I need to sleep that bad because I'm, I'm out of magicka. Let's have a little night's rest. I'm sure nobody minds. The game tells me that nobody does, so that's really weird. Something is clearly off here. Well, we are ready to defend ourselves. Okay, what's here? A door. Bedroom. And here? Skeletons. I don't want to... I don't want to have to deal with them now, so... Was this... Was this all? Is this like... Kind of thing what kind of place is this ah there it goes upward we go upward we go phew that door is trapped well that's I guess that's where we need the key to the summoning room so he's I guess he's an yeah he's a necromancer then well you know what, I'm going to try it with the skeletons. One. I don't have enough magicka. Then let's do it that way. Uh -huh. Oh, uninteresting. Bone meal. No bone meal. Trapped but not owned. I am suspecting that the person that I'm looking for actually is dead because all this stuff is not owned. Or this is the infinite, as, as the Spiffing Brit puts it, the infinite wisdom of Todd Howard. If you don't know the Spiffing Brit, head over to his channel. He's, he's very, very hilarious, especially when he's playing an Elder Scrolls game. <sighs> no. I am a Khajiit, but I need to... You know, I need to break the cliché. I am not a thief. I am a mage. So, we only take the stuff when we know that nobody is there to claim them for their own. Well, sleeping again won't hurt. It didn't the first time, so... I guess these are the guest bedrooms with the rats and stuff. And I'm only going to borrow the key. To check what's going on up there. Because something is clearly off. And I do intend to find out what. Real quick checking the recording time. Okay. Still away in the clear. I tend to lose the track of time while recording this, so let's see. So this door is trapped. I don't know if having the right key actually disarms the trap, so I'm going to do that um, extra. And now I'm using the summoning room key, saving. So, yeah, let's see, there's nobody in here. There's some shadow here. Well, that's basically... I can see that there are people here. That much I know. A 
dwarven sphere. There is someone there. You must be the person I'm looking for. Yeah, Baladas Demnevani. I'm looking for you. I'm sorry, that was not meant for you. So the G is silent. Thank you very much for that insight. I'm seeking you, actually. Are you Baladas Demnevani? Yes, I am Baladas Demnevani, and this Arvstrelan is my home. Why have you come here? Well, I've been looking for you. Yeah, well, hurry up, tell me what you want. Well, I've got three questions for you. You may ask your uh, three questions. You want to know first about the disappearance of the dwarves? Yeah, how did you know? It is said that the Dwemer refused to discuss research with those who demonstrated neither interest nor competence in the subject. What about Dwemer artifacts? If you seek artifacts of the Dwemer, visit one of the Dwemer ruins. What about those? Well, there are many scattered across Vardenfell. There is one on the coast northwest of here. Interesting, they even have the text set up so they are, the locations are relative to the person you're speaking with. Anywho, um, can you tell me something? Can you tell me something about the Dwemer language? I do not know the Dwemer language. Well, thank you. That's all that I needed. Do you have any cores for me? I have three simple cores for you. Bring me copies of the Dwemer books and Chunex Fire and Faith, Antecedents, Antecedents of Dwemer Law and the Chronicles of Unshulleft. Okay, I'm going to try to do this. Actually, I'm going to real quick record that into my little notebook. Three simple cores. So this is Baladas in Arf's Drellen in Gnesis. Three books in Chunak. I need to real quick record that and Faith. I mean, I need to write in a way that I can read it later, right? Antecedents of Dwemer Law and Chronicles of Inchleft. Thank you very much. I'm not going to do this right now. Because now I'm going to go back to a bipedal crocodile man. I'm going to head back and um, a bone. And first to deliver on my promise, I said that we would only borrow the key. I'm going to put it back. And then I'm going to go back and report back. Lots of backs here. go. This is where you found the key. And this is where we're going to place it. I didn't even mention that we needed the key. That's interesting. Well, back in, in Nisus we are. Ah, the temple. So let's head back to the Silstrider. There we go. I want to travel to Aldrune. <sighs> rain, I hit rain. Let's really quick get back into the Mages Guild. A colleague of mine, <laughs> I'm just tasting the coffee and a col uh, remembering a colleague of mine, she told me. Oh, that's really quick. Ah, she didn't see us. Lucky. Uh, a colleague of mine told me that she has found a good use for um, 
an oversized pepper mill. She's using it as a novelty coffee grinder. That's interesting. Sedrith Mora, Wolverine Hall, that's where we are going. Should you need something? There we go. Down the stairs, into the shrine, out of the shrine. We don't want the shrine, do we? And I always get confused at that door. Usually I fall down there. I think even falling down there often enough trains acrobatic skill. Yeah. I, I think yeah. it does. I'm unsure. And I always forget that I don't need to keep the W key pressed in this game. Just remembered. <sighs> One handed playing. Now oh, that's comfort. Okay, let's head back to the council hall. Sedrith Mora. I knew it. The moment that the music stopped, I knew that Morrowind was crashing. That's the Elder Scrolls for you. Or again, as the spiffing Brit puts it, the infinite wisdom of Todd Howard. Well, that's what restarting the game is for. There goes. Of course, of course, way back when. That needs more coffee. Of course, the last save is before we entered that place. So I'm going to do the real quick, do the um, talking to that guy first. So I get the answers to the questions. It's weird. It did unselect my probe. There we go. Three questions. Disappearance of the dwarves, Dwemer artifacts, Dwemer ruins, Dwemer language. There we go. Thank you very much. Ah, also, do you have any course for me? Oh, I can also, I can also ask about them, which is of course something that I will Quickly note down Hall of Wisdom. Uh, there we want to go. Hall of Wisdom in Vivek. Um, oh, the library is, is well guarded, so rare booksellers. There is Chobasha in Vivek, I remember. Uh, what about the second book? No, I haven't found it yet, so he doesn't tell me where I... Ah, okay. Mm, going to chill left. I think we already found it. We might actually have it in the inventory. Um, left for the chronicles and the rare booksellers is for the fire and faith and the last one we don't know where we get it well okay quick save most important function of the game Did return the key, so I don't think that's the reason why uh, why the game crashed. I hope it won't do that again, because that could mean that the save file is corrupted. It did say something about uh, about plugins not finding the correct version, which is kind of weird because I didn't change anything with the mod loadout between now and between the first run and now, so. I'm kind of confused, confused why this happened. So of course, bringing back the key is key. There. 
We are not stealing. Okay. And now let's head over to the suit strider again. <laughs> And here we go, travel to Aldrun. And shouldn't it autosave on travel? Did I disable? Did I not enable this? Hmm. Went too far. <laughs> She didn't recognize me. That's good. Travel to Sedrath Mora. Here, and now I'm just going to do this, which hurts my legs and feet. Real quick save and see if the game hopefully does not crash again. Saving again. The game just paused for a second and I was really anxious that it might crash again. So I'm saving here. May I help? No, you don't need to help me. I'm just going to go to the council hall. Hall. Place of mouths. And in we go. I think it was number three. Yes, we asked the three questions. So you have spoken with him. And what did he say? <laughs> well, no matter. I did not believe you could convince him to answer all the questions, but Archmagister Gothron will be quite interested to know what Baladas, that Baladas is alive and well. Ah, uh -huh, so you only wanted to know that he is alive and well. Well, do you have some more duties for me? Well, Archmagister Gothron has learned the location of the Dwemer ruin of Nchuleft. Nchuleft, you say? Go on. This Dwemer ruin lies west of the town of Vos. Apparently, these ruins are what Archmagister Gothran wanted Ainat Sanabi to look for. Uh, San Sanababi. Ainat Sanababi. Archmagister Gothran wants some plants or blueprints from, from Chuleft. Find these plants and return them to me. And yes, the from is... Look at it, there's from twice in there. This is good because we're looking for... For, I'm not going to say this too loud. The Chronicles. Which are supposed to be found over there as well. So again, save. Save, I say. Again, taking the boat. 
Hmm. And that was the last sip of coffee in my cup. So yeah, these these games, especially, so the guy says from from. I can say these these games um, are very infamous for crashing to desktop often, even in vanilla. So my destination is Telmora. And you know what, I don't want to get my feet wet, and I do have a lot of gold, so I'm going to pay the one gold to get to Voss. Thank you very much. Here we are. So let me real quick check the journal. It says west, which is this direction. According to the map in the lower, lower right corner of not the universe of the screen. So I'm just going to follow this road over here. There's also lots of restore health stuff here. I don't know if the week we I, I don't remember what is, but um, I know these these um, long strands. Um, is it crash fiber? No, it's the, some other thing, which is restore health. So if we want to go to the west, let's do this. Go west, there are dwarven ruins there. Go west. And maybe should stop singing before your ears start bleeding. So I'll do to the ruin. I'm getting attacked and I don't know from where. A rat. Tasty but bad for your magicka. Stone flower. Ah, oh, there it is. I can already see it. Well, let's follow the path. There is an alert up there. Ah, my nose is itching. Itchy nose. Yeah, itchy scratch nose. <clears throat> a nick sound over there. And I think this is where we want to go. I suppose we can we can afford a little off-roading, can we? Especially if there is a Nyx Hound to hunt. I failed casting the spell and now I'm out of magicka. Perfect. I always forget that you need fatigue. Or rather, that fatigue is bad for spell casting. Oh. Uh, two enemies, not a good idea. Nope, not a good idea. I do have my self-made quality restore health. Are these mine? Are these the one that I once said I did? Really? Ooh, let's first try that one. I'm bad at hitting. Could be that, that we got them as a reward. Why am I so slow? Is it the fatigue? Let me try that one. Oh, 
There we go. So much for hunting. Let's try and get a little rest. Under the stars. Or rather, the sun. Well, sleeping in the sun is what cats do, isn't it? Okay, now let's approach further. Oh, Daedra. There are Daedra here. That's not a good sign. That means that there is an evil presence here. Not enough magicka to cast the spell. Let's take the next lower level then. There we go. Okay, now, now that it's dark, maybe we can s sneak over. Or maybe we can just try making some potions that restore magicka, that is. Restore agility, restore luck, train magicka, restore fatigue. No, we don't have anything that has effects in common. So many enemies. There we go, that one is down. We're back to the old routine. Killing an enemy and then resting. That is a bit disappointing because it is a bit power gamey, isn't it? Well. We are not yet a that powerful mage that we can just go through and kill everything and have the magic cut to actually do that. That one is strong. That one is really strong. Ah, rain. I think this... Oh, it was blighted. I think that means that the enemies inside also are pretty strong. Oh, look here. There's a ballista here. Dwarven construct. This means I need to quick save. There we are, and she left, which is where we will get the chronicles. It's dark and moody in here. Spider. Yeah. I wasted one attack. Luckily, these are. Again, these voices in my head. Luckily, I can rest outside here. Ugh. Resting again. And before we go on, I would say I do a little quick save. And I would say. We will see each other next week on Morrowind Monday, because that's even more than 30 minutes already. So, yeah, next week on Morrowind Monday. Bye-bye.